Hi everybody, welcome to The Messy Cook by Dale. Thanks again for all your support and all your recipe ideas, I really appreciate it. Today we're going to be making English trifle, which is one of my favorites and my family's favorites. Um, I wanna give you some fun facts about trifle. Um, there's no record of the origin of, of trifle, but there are some recipes back in the like early 1600s that um, is very similar to what it is today, so they figure that's probably the origin of it. Uh, the word trifle actually means something of little significance, um, something that is um, whimsical, whatever. Well, this recipe is anything but that. This is decadent, it's rich, it's wonderful, it's tasty, it's great. Um, they also, because we put alcohol in on the cake, uh, it's also called tipsy cake. And they used to traditionally serve it on Sundays. Uh, and when the preacher would come over, they would give him this cake and he would maybe, you know, loosen up a little bit and tell them some secrets from the parish or whatever. So it was, it was very popular for that. Um, there's a lot of different variations of, of this cake. Um, but it was used mostly to, if you had stale cake or some leftover custard, then they would make it into this cake. It was a way of using old, older stuff. Um, we're going to start by making the custard. Now, you can make your own custard, and purists think that it's treacherous <laughs> if you don't make your own custard. But in uh, the early 1800s, a British man called Mr. Bird invented this. His wife was allergic to eggs, so he invented this uh, custard powder. It's creme anglaise. And um, traditionalists now say, you know what? If it was good enough for him, it's good enough now. So this is what I use. I have made my own, and please, if you want to make your own, go for it. Uh, but this is a lot easier, and it's foolproof. So we're going to start with um, a saucepan. We're going to put in a half a cup. I'm making a double recipe here uh, because what I don't want to do is run out. So I'm going to put in, that's a quarter of a cup. And of course, I'm making a mess because that's what the messy cook does. There's a half a cup. There we have it. Half a cup of um, bird's custard. You can get this just about anywhere, by the way. Um, most grocery stores have it. And we're going to be putting in how much of the, uh, let's see, that's three tablespoons of sugar. So six tablespoons of sugar because I'm doing a double recipe. So there's one. five and six now this is a great dessert to bring to a potluck or if you're going um, to dinner and you want to bring dessert wonderful okay next we're going to slowly stir in five cups of milk now this is where it gets challenging because i don't want to make a mess so while you're stirring oh there we go this is good you just don't want any lumps. This looks good so far. Just let me make sure that I've got them all going there. Okay. And I think I can put in the rest there. Now that's a lot of English cream. Okay. So we're going to turn on the uh, temperature and we're going to bring it to a boil. Shouldn't take too long. Um, again, you can make your own um, custard, but you know, there's the, it's not foolproof and you have to make sure you don't make scrambled eggs with it because you got to put it into hot liquid. You got to temper it. Uh, so um, you can do that. But I've also heard of people buying vanilla pudding and putting that in the bottom of it too why not it's your it's really you know they used to make it with all kinds of things kiwis and bananas and all kinds of stuff uh traditionally during victorian era they would uh only make it with strawberry or raspberry jam no fresh fruits uh with the cream and everything but um i like to put in berries i put in raspberries and strawberries and uh frozen and fresh and that always works really well. And of course, we put brandy in it. You can put brandy or red wine. You can put, uh, I don't know, just about any kind of alcohol, I guess. But you don't want to overpower it. In the old days, they used to put, I, I watched a video of 
it being made during Victorian times and they would put in like a quarter of a cup to a half a cup of brandy uh, into the, the cake and I thought well that's a lot you know you don't want to overpower your your uh, trifle with a lot of alcohol and it, in the old days they would make it without alcohol for the kids so uh, yeah so this is going to take a while so what, what I'm going to do is it's going to yeah almost there it's going to thicken up and then I'm going to put it into a bowl a glass bowl once it's nice and thick and it won't be long um, I'm going to cover it with saran wrap or plastic wrap right to the bottom I'm going to show you how to do that and then I'm going to put it in the fridge and this has to cool down completely so that's why it's, your, it's really is your first step to making English trifle okay so I'm going to go and I'm going to come back when this is nice and thick and show you what we have okay we'll see you in a few minutes hi so we're back the uh, creme anglaise or the custard as you can see is beautifully thickened up um, I was uh, whisking it the whole time look at that beautiful so now I'm going to put it into a glass bowl like this all right that goes here and I'm going to and I see a little bit of burn there okay so I'm going to cover it with some plastic wrap and I'm going to cover it right down on it so it doesn't develop a skin on it that's really important because you waste a lot of cream that way so there you go you sort of do that all right so this goes into the fridge uh, till it's till it's nice and cool so don't know when that's going to be couple of hours maybe or an hour anyway when we come back we'll put it all together for you all right so we'll see you in a few minutes I'm gonna put this in the fridge see you later hi everybody so we're back here is the pudding and you see you take off the um, cellophane and you've got a perfectly beautiful custard lovely tastes delicious too okay so we're going to start putting all this together we start with this this um, trifle bowl now you can get this anywhere really um, it's very very affordable I think I paid 16 or 18 dollars for this um, this is traditional because you want to see the layers of the trifle as you go up now you can buy one of these and you don't only have to use it for trifle you can use it for uh, layered salad or, or whatever uh, so it's really a great investment it's, and like I say it's really cheap and it really does the job okay so first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut the pound cake now I bought this pound cake you can make your own pound cake, pound cake if you want uh, but I bought this at the grocery store it's just as good so we're going to slice them into cubes and this is a uh, vanilla pound cake and I've got raspberry here so I thought that would make a really nice addition to this uh, trifle so put cut them into cubes and we're going to see how many layers we get out of this so first layer is these cubes so that goes in there like that beautiful now comes the liquor so I've got this brandy here and we're going to put a little bit of it in the container here and I'm going to brush it on the cakes you don't need to have a lot I figure an ounce it turns out to be maybe or not even maybe two uh, it depends like again you don't want to overpower it with uh, liquor that looks good okay next is the fruit now on the bottom um, I use frozen fruit because I really like the juice it is liquid gold so I'm going to put a layer of this on here straight on top like that beautiful and one more 
So these are raspberries and strawberries that I let defrost. Okay, next is the custard. So we're going to put a layer of custard. You see now why I made two um, batches of custard because you don't want to run out at this point. There you have it. You want to make it as neat as possible so it looks pretty. And there's a layer of custard. Now, start again. More cake. So delicious. Let's cut up a bit more of this and this. Maybe one of each. And there you have it. Some more liquor. Almost done. So decadent, so beautiful. All right, another layer, or the last layer of fruit on top. Look at this. Oh my gosh, this is so good. And this will feed an army, I'm telling you. You bring it to a dinner party, and they're going to have leftovers for the next day for sure and a final layer of the custard so beautiful so tasty and you know on a miserable day like today it's great to have some great food to eat okay there is that and now the final is whipped cream so what you want to do is you want to take about um uh, what is that a half a liter of whipped cream you're going to put the bowl in the freezer for at least 20 minutes if not longer as well as the uh, beaters and then you're going to beat your your uh cream until it's almost set and then you're going to put some um, uh, powdered sugar maybe about a quarter of a cup to make it nice and sweet and there you have it so let's scoop that on top now if you want to get fancy you could pipe it on i've done that before but i'm not going to bother doing that now look at this oh my gosh lovely Well, I think uh, our friends are going to get a phone call today, Dan, because we cannot eat all of this. There's no way. Look at to this. Let's put some <laughs> strawberries around. Fresh strawberries and raspberries. Like this. And some raspberries. I mean, <laughs> you can't get better than this. And it's fresh and you know that when the raspberries and strawberries or whatever fruit you're using is in season it's that much better and there we have it so look at this this is a work of art if i do say so myself you can see the different layers on here just lovely excellent work okay so there we have it now what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this in the fridge it has to go in the fridge for about two hours, so it's nice and cold. And then we're going to come back again, and we're going to try it. All right, so we'll see you, like, in a couple of hours. See you later. Hi, we're back. Look at this, a piece of art. Now, there's no easy way to get into this, so we're just going to dig in. Oh, it's so good. Get right down to the bottom look at this okay give it a try mm. oh that's so good mm -hmm. lovely oh different flavors very nice and sweet and yet not too sweet you gotta try this really easy to make as you can see so there we have it 
English trifle. So if you like what you saw, please subscribe and like underneath the video on our, on our uh, YouTube page. Uh, let me know your favorite uh, summer desserts and put it in the comments below. I think I'd be really interested to know what you're eating and what you like to eat. Maybe I'll make it. Uh, stay safe, be patient, wear a mask, and be kind. And uh, remember, forget the mess. See you later. Mm. So good.